Hello everyone, uh, just another video uh, that I'm going to put together again. Uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, information coming through on the Night Vision Builders um, Facebook page. And there's a guy who uh, called Pugwash, um, maybe or maybe not his real name, but whatever, benefit of the doubt and all that. And obviously the discussion point of obviously uh, how to kind of mount uh, potentially a project box now I've kind of messed around with this loads of times and I've been to screw fix and uh, numerous other plumbing outlets to kind of find the best fit and I think I've got a quite a nice little setup so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through how I initially get everything set up then I'm going to show the drilling and then just show on how it all fits and how to make it snug as you want and then what to glue what not to glue so um, yeah so here goes so first of all you uh, need a project box like this. Uh, this project box is um, eight centimeters by eight centimeters uh, by four centimeters deep. Is I think maybe not four centimeters, but you know there are thereabouts. So um, yeah, it is four centimeters deep. So what I've uh, well started doing is actually marking out where the center is for this for me to drill. So. One of these is uh, called a centre finder. Um, you can buy them on eBay and so on, and uh, well, a, a couple of quid or there or thereabouts. What you want to do is you want to make two marks on here initially. Uh, it doesn't matter too much about how how far off you're going to get this, but in terms of marking, because essentially you, you're going to use a certain drill bit to take it out. So you probably cut can just make that out where I've scored so that that part there where the it's crossed over is dead center so that just helps if you want to be as neat as possible to make sure that you're going to drill the hole correctly then what you want to do is you take a, a drill bit like this uh, well it's a hole drill or well, there's a proper name for this but I can't remember what the hell it is um, and essentially what you want to do is you want to drill your hole through just like that and again I'll just uh, obviously go through the drilling motion afterwards so we'll get that done in a second the same thing that you want to then do is you want to also get a in fact that's one that I've already done so discard that for the time being you also want to do the same for this so this is a 40mm plastic end cap and you can I got these from tool station I think they're about 96p or something peanuts now the beauty of these is it already has in the centre a guidance mark to go through. However, you can, if you wish, go through that or you can mark it up in exactly the same fashion. So with this one again, so if I just take it and this is for the the camera itself to be pushed through. Now there is another way of doing this. Uh, which I'll cover in another video because I haven't got the actual camera modules to hand at present uh, but when I do I'll obviously put the video on and um, make sure everyone's aware etc etc it's a neat idea that I've uh, seen on an, um, another video by another gentleman I cannot for the life of me think he is, who he is but it, it's a nice neat setup and I think it just needs covering just so you've got all angles because ultimately how you build these night vision kits is entirely up to you uh, and everyone's version different so again so that's what I've got there uh, I've got a specific 14 and a half mil drill bit um, I would personally if you can't get hold of uh, the drill bits straight from the likes of say B&Q or um, home base or you know anywhere that's doing hardware see if we can uh, especially tool station is um, whether you can get a uh, specific one 14 and a half is probably a nice minimum because you can always bore it out and I would generally use a a rasp something like this and manually move it around in a circle you can also use um, roll up sandpaper so I've also used sandpaper like this and just moved it around because what ideally what you want to do is when you push your camera in and this will all come apparent when I actually build this part is it will make sure that it is a nice snug fit and you don't have to use any form of glue um, this will this once it evolves you'll see on how it's actually all been put together so what we'll do now I'll just pause this and we'll move off to uh, do some drilling so here we go they've got the box uh, obviously I'll 
you can't make out the cross but so what I'm going to do is I get that set up And there we have the hole. So that's where your press fit will go. So that's one element. So if I just pause it there, I'll just go on to the, uh, the cutting of the camera mount part. Hi folks, obviously I've made a bit of a cock up with the videos. I thought I'd actually had this part recording but essentially all I've done is I've just drilled the central hole using that drill bit. As simple as that. Um, apologies I wanted to just show it all going through. Uh, just just so I can make sure I, just, I actually use the initial pilot drill first to go through once I've marked the, the centre part. That gets a nice uh, before moving on to the big one. If you don't do that what you do end up with and for uh, benefit of the tape as they would say um, that's what you get is if you go straight in without um, using a pilot one you do run the risk of you know, when you're using a big drill bit like this straight off you do run the risk of getting off center it's always best to use just a little pilot hole first whilst it's another you know adds another two three minutes to your build time it's worth it because if you get this wrong uh, in terms of it being offset might as well hold these two up they don't look too different. Uh, you know, this this one's the one that's offset. However, when you mount these onto your, uh, for your scope and your camera to line up, you will have problems with this. Uh, you can get away. I mean, this this is not too far off. You can get away with it. That'll that'll work just. Uh, but for better accuracy, uh, sorry, better alignment, you're better off using this one. So let's move back to the um, the warmth of the house and put that together. Right, so we're, we're back in. Now, what I've done is, uh, from the video, I've uh, cleaned up slightly the hole. That's the other hole that we're... So I'll do those just screws for the time being. Um, what I'll do is I'll just show you on how it all slide together. Well, I'm saying slide together. So, just for the benefit, got your camera. Uh, this is again this is you, know, you can use whatever camera you like but the principles are going to be the same. So initially what you want to do is take the lens off. If you haven't got one of these you'll have one of the little, little shorter lenses. Uh, again another video that I went through. So you've got either 12mm or 16mm. 16mm um, will give you the bigger picture. Initially what you want to do is offer that up to there and give it a, a firm press. Now if it doesn't go in smoothly like that, don't force it. Um, if you're just using the camera board, definitely don't, because you will break it. So, again, what we we'll do is just take this. I don't mount it any form of drill, and I just give it a couple of turns, and that seems to get everything lined up. It might seem laborious, but the benefits that you get. Uh, very much a, a smooth but tight fit so that's still there I can I could feel I could really push that through if I wanted to but at the moment best not so just give it a couple more turns out by rotating it this way you end up with a a rounder hole and we're talking what a quarter quarter of a mil can sometimes be the difference of this going in tightly or is going to think this will be there we go so as you can see that that's now a nice tight fit so what I do with 
comes you with these you can grind them down slightly they are not up to you but it will help you with the focusing essentially what you want to do is screw that in like so and as you can see there that's very squarely sat and that will pay so then what you can do is offer this up initially it won't go through which is okay don't worry this is this is exactly what I would anticipate anyway but again not as many turns um, with this but as you can see it's not a lot this might seem really boring but then what you can then do is press that in like so now you presto you've got a nice camera mounted all square no messing you then all you've got to do is for the wiring drill a hole wherever you like through here um, it gives you space for um, on this particular camera module uh, you've got the remote control you can squeeze all that in there and keep that all contained so there you go nice square box with a square lens so then all you need to do to mount that fully as you know I've got your camera box built it's a case of just getting that to fix on there initially it's a bit sloppy around um, as with my builds just a nice little piece of old inner tube inner tubes obviously will be of different thicknesses and you can play around and adjust and what I would advise is if you're going to use this method and after one part you might be still a bit um, st not stuck but it's still a bit loose you'll, you'll, you'll get a feel of how loose it is what I would suggest is to put a initially a layer of sellotape around because that's thinner than inner tube probably two wraps then put your inner tube on then try and slide this on now at the moment I'm, I'm putting some fair old pull behind that and can't pull it off now once you get to that part I would suggest once you've got this all connected and built slide on your scope if it feels all comfortable and it all lines up square slide this off slightly or you could do, well, take it all the way off and put a ring of super glue right around the bottom of here and then slide this back on like so what you'll then get is a total seal all the way around here because your scope will be inside well, uh, this will be enclosed as well it makes this element essentially waterproof you can then really go, down, go to town in terms of putting a silicon seal around here and once you've got your wire through with a rubber grommet in you know you can really go to town with this so um, anyway I'm going to stop now because I think I'm rambling but yeah there we go um, hope that helps someone thanks a lot